Good morning, folks. My name is Alex, and in this uh, episode, uh, we'll discuss Azure Pixel Streaming for Unreal Games applications using Marketplace uh, Azure deployment item to deploy the solution and the elements and the aspects of uh, its scalability. So in the previous episode, uh, we discussed a details, detailed solution architecture of the solution, uh, what it includes uh, as you deploy a marketplace item in your Azure subscription. Uh, in this episode, we'll focus on uh, the scalability and the match making server, as well as VM scale sets and the signaling servers uh, that will be deployed with it. Uh, in this case, we have a, a multi-region deployment using specific SKU for uh, a VM. Uh, we also go in after multiple streams per GPU. Uh, so we'll talk about uh, ports that will be used and in general how uh, users, concurrent users, may be uh, able to leverage uh, different different uh, ports and different signaling servers, uh, basically parallelizing uh, the workload and taking advantage of multiple streams on GPU. When you deploy, uh, you can select up to four regions for deployment and uh, up to 100 uh, GPU VM instances per region. Then maximum uh, streams per GPU you can select is four. When you're selecting this, you basically pick in a number of uh, Unreal, Unreal Engine instances running per GPU VM. And it's important to test your uh, application, your Unreal Engine game for the desired SKU that you picked uh, to know exactly what the GPU and memory and CPU footprints are. And you can also uh, modify and uh, uh, adjust uh, the load based on the resolution and FPS, the frames per second selected. Uh, just in terms of terminology, a GPU stream is a sequence of commands that executes um, on in order on the GPU. The concurrent user is the client that connects to uh, a server and receives a video and audio data from a GPU stream. And then the server is responsible for running the game on its GPU and encoding the output to send to the browser. Um, so we mentioned several aspects and several important considerations as you are uh, planning your game deployment through Azure Pixel Streaming. And those include the complexity and performance of a game, resolution bitrate um, of the stream, network bandwidth latency, configuration of the VM itself, CPU usage, memory consumption of the server, quality stability of internet connection, optimization tuning of the game, and others. Uh, so in this case, uh, we selected uh, a specific VM uh, type of NV family, NV1880S uh, A10 V5. Uh, and we'll take a look at, uh, again, what it, what it means uh, uh, to use this specific SKU. So there's a web page that you can look up uh, on internet and then kind of get the feel of uh, how many like vCPUs are involved, how many, how, how, how many gigabytes of memory, uh, what kind of um, GPU is used. So you can look all of those uh, settings up for this SKU. To understand, to better understand the planning of your solution architecture for uh, Azure Pixel Streaming. Also, knowing that uh, Azure Pixel Streaming Marketplace item deploys multiple types of resources, and one of them, one the, the biggest one, the most important one, is the GPU compute itself, which comes as a VM. Uh, you can also look up uh, using uh, Azure Pricing Calculator. You can also look up a price if you know uh, roughly. Uh, number of hours of GPU compute required for your game, for your users, concurrent access and stuff. Then you can look up um, using Azure Pricing Calculator uh, price per hour for that GPU compute and this will give you a ballpark uh, estimation. Obviously the overall solution arch architecture as we discussed uh, it's bigger than this but this is just an item, an important item, the GPU compute itself that you can look up some price and get some idea uh, about that. Now let's talk about and remind ourselves as you create an Unreal Pixel Streaming um, uh, resources. Uh, this is how the page looks like, where you can specify, uh, again, the number of regions. In this case, I'm using the West US 2, uh, and then uh, up to 100 VMs and uh, up to four streams. And we'll describe and discuss what it means uh, when the physical deployment takes place, uh, how this manifests itself, all of those settings. And then also for the matchmaking, uh, matchmaker server uh, on the networking tab, um, you can see all of those different ports that will be configured for the solution. 
as well as the pixel streaming internal port um, and some information about uh, again how this is how this is organized we can highlight some of the pieces or snippets of the code um, again to manifest uh, some of the ideas here so I deployed uh, four streams uh, of uh, single single VM deployment, single region, and four streams with it. And then you can see that as I'm trying to uh, access this uh, VM directly, uh, you can see 80, 81, 82, 83, those ports, and 84 uh, was not accessible. So let's just uh, see how this works. So if you look at the um, start VMSS script, uh, and uh, this this time I'm going to launch this manually, uh, like four instances of uh, the signaling server. So each port, 80, 81, 82, 83, will correspond uh, to its own uh, instance of a signaling server. And then when basically uh, you're accessing your game through uh, a traffic, Azure Traffic Manager, you will be redirected to a specific region. And then from there, through a matchmaking server, uh, you'll be redirected to appropriate stream uh, so you can kind of start consuming and start um, uh, using your game online. And as you can see that um, I started one server for now on port 80, uh, first instance, and we immediately connected. Uh, the rest of the streams are inactive right now for ports 81, 82, 83, and that's exactly what we'll do uh, next, uh, just to showcase that as soon as those signaling servers will be up and running uh, for to support those the rest of three streams, uh, then you'll be able to connect and uh, take advantage of this. So one Cirrus signaling server is running at this point. Uh, you can see that the instance number is a parameter. Uh, and uh, I'm launching this manually, but typically this is launched on a task scheduler. And uh, all of those like based on configuration, all of those instances will be launched for you. I'm just a little impatient uh, just to get it going right away after after the deployment. So launching the second instance of Cirrus signaling server. And then once that done, once that's done, uh, I can go and uh, check out uh, that the second stream on port number 81 will become available. So it's starting connection to the server right now. As soon as this is done, we can see that we can successfully connect and start playing. You'll also notice that it starts basically, it's a, it's a separate Unreal application running through that signaling server on that port. So what I'm doing in the left window, top left window, uh, is kind of one uh, dedicated session and uh, because I'm connecting from the same machine but through different GPU streams and then technically I'm taking advantage of uh, multiple games running at the same time. So I'm launching the third instance which will enable port 82 I'll do the fourth instance right away that enables port 83. All of those ports are pre-configured, so 80 through 83, four ports, uh, for up to maximum up to four GPU streams per VM. So you could see this uh, from the initial configuration of the marketplace deployment item. Once that's done, we can see all of the uh, signaling servers are running at the same time, serving content on different ports. And then finally, we can have four games going through four individual dedicated GPU streams from a single VM uh, going on and uh, what's uh, going on the, 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 the game mode and the game actions that I'm taking in through one stream uh, will be independent from the game mode and actions that I'm taking from another stream. So you can see clearly that uh, leveraging, connecting from the same physical machine uh, to the same remote machine that runs four instances of Unreal through uh, four GPU streams on different ports uh, and connecting through diff four different signaling servers, I can play kind of four games at the same time 
if I try to uh, set up and launch uh, a signaling server number five, I'm not able to because technically in the file uh, structure of uh, this VM, I don't have that object available or this setup available. So I only have uh, in web servers, I only have four web servers and each of them will be a dedicated uh, process running on the VM uh, separately. Okay, so if I look up the folder structure, you can see the signaling, ser uh, signaling web server uh, one, two, three, and four. And that's exactly the point that uh, while there's a one matchmaker server running on the VM uh, and operating on certain ports, uh, there are four instances of signaling servers uh, supplied to support four different GPU streams and the Cirrus.js is just a, a Node.js application essentially that comes with the uh, signaling server comes also with config and different scripts that uh, will be launched for you uh, on task scheduler automatically and then this is how the config looks like for each of those four signaling servers. You can see clearly 8, 80, 81, 82, 83 ports are specified in four different directories as four different configs for different signaling servers. Yeah, and this is just again to remind you that uh, as you play uh, 80, 81, 82, 83 ports uh, are dedicated to four instances of a signaling server uh, running on the VM. Uh, and this is how it looks. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, some of the deployments and it's important to plan for GPU, CPU and memory consumption along with some other considerations which we mentioned. So this is uh, uh, one of the games uh, that I deployed. And if you wait enough just for the, uh, the task scheduler to uh, do its job, then you, you see that there are four bootstrap packaged games um, applications or processes running. And this is how basically you can see, uh, you can check out basically the consumption of resources. So in this case, this is about uh, two gigabytes of worth of memory uh, per instance. So you can you can plan your uh, utilization of your VM appropriately. In this case, this game in particular was using some uh, advanced lighting, advanced graphics, uh, 3D uh, sophisticated objects, metahumans, mannequins with the custom um, with the different custom motions and so on. In this case, I'm comparing this with the first person um, first person template and in this case uh, I launched this myself all of the signaling servers and you can see that the first person uh, is taking much uh, this game is taking much less resources so in this case uh, memory consumption is at uh, 700 about 700 megabytes uh, and that just uh, showcases the importance and underscores the importance of planning thank you